the most prominent measure of variation uh, like uh, standard deviation and variance. Here uh, we discuss uh, different variants of standard deviation like uh, for ungrouped data, for group data, for weighted data, and for probability data. Besides this, we will also discuss uh, conceptual formulas and computational formula uh, to calculate uh, variance as well as standard deviation. Let's uh, we have ungrouped data and we have four numbers one, two, three, two, and we want to calculate uh, variance of this ungrouped data by using uh, this uh, uh, conceptual formula as well as the computational formula. Now look at conceptual formula. Here we have sum of x minus x bar square divided by n. So first of all, we need x bar. And uh, how x bar is calculated? x bar is calculated like summation x by n. So we need summation x. So we will have to sum all these four numbers and we have the eight. And here look at uh, the number of observation. We have four observation. So our x bar would be summation x that is eight divided by number of observation that is four. We will get Sorry, I'm repeating again. Uh, number of uh, sum, uh, summation of x uh, divided by uh, number of observation. Like here, we have four observation. So mean is four. Uh, now, uh, because in uh, look at uh, uh, sample standard deviation, again, we need x bar for x bar. And in denominator, we should have n minus 1. So we calculate this n minus 1, 4 minus 1, that is 3. Now uh, look at again first formula. We need deviation x minus x bar. And we know that the deviation uh, from mean is always is equal. Sum of deviation from mean is always equal to this. So we will check it as well. So here is uh, we will have to subtract mean from each value of uh, x. And here we should uh, we, sh we have mean of two. So one minus two, minus one, two minus two, zero, and then we have three minus two, one, and two minus two, zero. And now check it whether sum of deviation from mean is. Zero or not? No, it is exactly zero. Now we have calculated this one x bar, x minus x bar. Now we'll have to take square of these deviations and just take its square. I have used very simple data so that you can understand it easily. So just take its square minus one square one, zero square zero, one square one, and again zero square zero, and just sum it. No, basically when we sum it like this one, so we have these observation. We have basically so, so just we sum it. So when we sum it these observation, it means that uh, We are getting this mission of x minus x bar square. Most of the student uh, cannot understand that uh, how uh, we are getting this. Uh, basically, we just sum it and use this column heading, heading and place this summation symbol. So we in numerator, we have this number two and denominator we have four. So variance would be 0.5 because uh, this two divided by these number of observation four. Now, uh, this is basically population standard deviation. For sample standard deviation, uh, the numerator is same, but denom de in denominator, we have n minus one. So again, we will take this number divided by three. So 0.667 is our uh, sample standard deviation and it is greater than population standard deviation. Now, uh, we can use even computation formula, although formula seem to be complicated, but 
as you know that in older days there were no calculators uh, so statistician statistician developed uh, these formula and now here just we need x square now here we need to first of all x bar and then deviations and then deviations just take the square part two and you will have to do all these calculation manually and now just sum it and sum of x square now in the formula now we have these uh, uh, two things that uh, uh, this is basically sum of x and this is our sum of x square now we'll, we will have to put all these uh, in this formula uh, now here summation x square by number of observation for and then again summation x Uh, here we have uh, 8. We can use direct its answer uh, divided by 4, and we will have to take its square as well uh, because 8 divided by 4 has square power 2. So you can see that we have the same answer, uh, but it is very much easier as compared to the first one that was conceptual formula. Now, for uh, a second formula, uh, means this n summation x square minus measure just put the values we will get some percent variation this is uh, basically a computational formula uh, for uh, sample variance and for standard deviation we uh, should take under root of this variance uh, now again in numerator we have n means 4 multiplied then summation x square we have 18 minus then summation x we have 8 power 2 And then in denominator, we have n into n minus 1. Now, as we know that n is 4 and n minus 1 is 3. And when we divide it, we will get this 12. So divided by 12, again, we have the same answer. Uh, now, uh, if uh, for frequency based, if we have frequency based data or if we have probability based data or if we have weighted data, uh, if frequency is same for all the observation means 1, 1, 1, then we will get the same answer. For example, frequency of this data, now it is group data. Uh, we may have a different frequency as well, but in case if we have 1, 1, 1 frequency for each observation, uh, then instead of using this frequency based uh, formula, we can use simply formula like I have calculated earlier. So anyhow, uh, by using this formula, now again, we need x minus x bar square. Then we multiplied it by f and then we will take it sum. Now for, for because here we need x bar and we know that to calculate uh, the uh, average value of frequency based data is summation fx divided by summation f. So first we need f into x and then after getting now uh, to get mean this one 8 divided by 4 we have 2 mean now again we calculate deviation x minus this x bar then x minus this is x bar and then so here we have deviation and then we take deviation square R2 and then we multiply it by f because here in the formula x minus x bar square so far we have calculated this one x minus x bar square and then it should be multiplied it is called sum of product function basically first we multiply it then we will add and now uh, this deviation squared square deviation 
this one is multiplied by f. And then sum it. Now s column is fx minus x bar square. So we place summation before it. So it is our value. Now just put the value here. Divided by summation of f. Four. Again, we have the same answer 0.5 as we have calculated. But in case if we change the frequency, for example, we have eight, we can get different result. Now we can use even computational formula and computational formula is very easy. Just multiply these two. And then. Multiply this. Fx by x or we can get in other way as well. So this is our fx square and just create these two column and then add. All these column. Now put the values in the formula like here we have summation fx square. I will solve in two part. This is summation fx square divided by summation f. And then second part, we have summation fx divided by summation 4 raised to power 2 and just subtract it, we will get the same answer. I have explained this uh, frequency based data because uh, uh, this formula is used in uh, probability data as well as in uh, uh, weighted data. Now, for example, we have probability if uh, the assumption is that all these numbers are equally likely that uh, they have equal chance of occurrence, then we will get the same answer for uh, probability data as we have obtained for ungrouped data. Like, for example, the probability is uh, 0.5 or 0.25. Now, we have the same probability for uh, each observation. Now look at the formula. Uh, here we need uh, deviation uh, x bar. Now what is x bar? Here x bar is basically it is called expected value and it can be calculated by summation px. So first we calculate uh, as product of p into x. It is product of p into x and then we sum it and it is basically 2. So we will get uh, this means sum of px is basically we have uh, average 2. This one. Now we will calculate uh, this x minus x bar, then x minus minus x bar square, and then we multiply it by 2. I have played. Uh, only a single uh, column, uh, but you can have uh, two more columns uh, as I have explained in uh, frequency based data. Now, just to get this one, uh, we have probability that is multiplied by x. This is your x minus uh, expected value. This one, summation x bar minus x, that is 2. And uh, just uh, take uh, its uh, square power 2. Now, after getting and just add them, uh, after multiplying, and then add them. Now, we have this one 0.5. And uh, this is the uh, basically variance as uh, we have calculated for ungrouped data. But in case if we change the frequency, for example, we have changed this frequency to let's say 0.2 and here uh, let's say uh, 0.3 because sum of probability should be equal to 1. So we are getting some different results. Uh, now 
Uh, but if, in case if we have the same probability, means equally likely of occurrence of each of the value, then we will get the same variance as we have already obtained for ungrouped data. Uh, you, even we can use this computational formula and uh, uh, you can use it by yourself and it's uh, very much easy. Uh, now in case of weighted average, uh, just look at the weighted average formula. We first need weighted average. How we can get this weighted average? I have 